Hello everyone, Mike here and today it's time for my gaming PC and workstation build for 2021 and 2022. For the motherboard I went with the B550 Vision D which is specifically marketed to creators and comes with Thunderbolt support. It certainly looks quite unique too. For the CPU I went with the Ryzen 9 5900X which is more than enough for everything I do. The RAM is the peculiar looking T-Force White Edition with full ARGB. I bought a 2 16GB pack running at 4000MHz. Thermal paste I went for the Cryonaut from Thermal Grizzly. The power supply is a Sharkoon Silent Storm Cool Zero which can output up to 850 watts and has a 80 plus gold certification. It is also modular. The CPU cooler is the Pure Loop 240 um, all-in-one water cooler from Be Quiet, which not only looks sleek but won't ruin your wallet either. I also got three Pure Wings 2 fans from Be Quiet. The diamond from this build is a GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, which by some miracle I was able to get new at below price market, and the whole reason this video even exists. While I'm perfectly aware this is still not the perfect time to buy all the components, I found a good graphics card at the below market price, so I yeeted myself into just renewing my equipment, and that's it. Anyway, I'll shut up myself now and let you enjoy a quick montage from the build and we will see each other at the end of this video again for some tests and benchmarks. Meanwhile, enjoy!
And welcome back. With everything now in place, it is time for some benchmarks. Unfortunately, the ones that I did initially were using Windows 10 and for some reason they kept showing very weird results. So I decided on clean install and trying it out with Windows 11. And here are the results. Starting with user benchmark, performing about how much I was expecting it to, just with a not so good surprise of the CPU idling at around 4 degrees Celsius, which is something that I'll probably try to improve at a later date. Cinebench also performed within expectations with nothing special whatsoever. Now one benchmark that I really do like to use to test stability is the superposition benchmark from UniEngine 2 and it performed remarkably well. With simultaneous recording using OBS, running at 2K resolution with high texture quality and shaders optimized for 4K, it yielded a result of uh, 20,688 with an average FPS of 155, which is quite above my expectations. In Afiata Yada, everyone wants to know how it performs for gaming, so that's the next step. The tested games were The Medium, Force of War, GTA V, Godfall, Detroit Become Human and Cyberpunk. As a disclaimer, all of the games were tested using max settings while playing at a 2K resolution and simultaneously recording with OBS. Unfortunately, the performance overlay from NVIDIA is not the best, so the values that I'll be writing on the screen are the ones reported by the game itself. I also tested it without recording afterwards. Answering the first important question of them all, can it run Crisis? Well, yes, at 60 FPS, which is pretty good considering it's Crisis. Can it run Star Citizen? Le let's not get into that, okay? Starting with GTA 5, it plays incredibly well with an average FPS of 140 and not that many spikes. Moving to Forza Horizon 4, it has achieved an average FPS of 124, but running it without recording, it is able to achieve an average FPS of 140. Next on the list, Detroit Become Human. Now, this game is somewhat limited to uh, 60 FPS on settings, running it on everything, running it with everything on ultra settings and with the uh, vsync off. It stays stable at exactly 60 FPS for uh, most of the time. For something a bit different, The Medium, which is a third-person psychological horror game, just in case you don't know it, runs very wildly jumping between 80 and 160 FPS, averaging at around 100 FPS without recording. Next, I swear to god I was gonna say Spider-Punk. No, Cyberpunk. With ray tracing and all the settings maxed out, without recording it also averages at 60 FPS. Needless is to say that these settings, this game, it looks absolutely fantastic. Last one, Godfall. The game with so much high candy. Nothing is truly eye candy. It's still very entertaining to play at a more than reasonable average of 100 FPS. And this concludes this build. I truly hope you enjoyed watching it. Any questions regarding it or how certain games perform, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And I wish you an absolutely amazing day. See you next time.